Now we'll have our children's time. And we ask all the children in the house to come. Come on, sissy. Come on, bubby. Come on up. As you may have already noticed, Jonah may not be in class today. I heard him squalling and I... Y'all just got a taste. <laughs> just a little example. Well, well being that... He gets an excuse. He gets an excuse. But after the lesson, Kim, I want to let everyone know that the nursery will not be open immediately after the lesson today since we're having a communion. Okay. But after communion is served, the nursery will be open and available, okay? Okay, kids. So that means stay down here until after we do communion, okay? That all right? You guys want to sit down right here? Will you sit right here with Laura? That'd be okay? You Okay. She okay? <laughs> That's how I always judged it too, let me tell you. And if they did cry, I'd say, hey, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Okay. Well, Mr. Parsons, Mr. Steve, had to bring me my flashlight because I left it. Have you ever told ghost stories? Have you? Do they ever do they scare you? Do they scare you? Not all the time. Can you make a scary face? Well, that's a <laughs> that's you. Can you make a scary face? No? Let's see your best scary face, Laura. Oh, well, that's a good one. That is such a good one. Well, I'm not really gonna talk about ghosts, okay? That was just for remembering when I went to children's church camp long, long, long time ago, <laughs> Buffalo Mountain, <laughs> and we sat around the fire and we told ghost stories. We had ghost stories. And uh, sometimes it would be hard to get to go to sleep at nighttime after you'd hear those things. But what I want to talk to you today about are two men who traveled a road that we call the road to Emmaus, okay? And they were traveling after Jesus died on the cross, okay? And they were walking between the two places. They were walking down the road and they were talking about how he had died and how sad they were and how much they missed him. And all of a sudden, this man starts walking with them, a third man. And he's just walking along and he's asking them. He says, what are you talking about? And they said, where in the world have you been? Have you never heard the story that happened? This, we buried our Savior, and he's no longer with us. And then it got, started getting dark. And they said, why don't you stay with us? And why don't you have supper with us? And when they had their supper, the man that was with them, took the bread and he broke it and he started leading them in communion and they realized it was Jesus and man they were scared because what do you think they, that Jesus was? They sure did. They thought he was a ghost and they were scared. But he said, why are you afraid? Don't be afraid. It's me. Look at my hands. And in his hands they could see the nail pierced holes and in his feet and all that was there and they recognized that he was with them and he traveled on with them and he told them he said I'm not going to get to stay here now I'm going to go to be with the father but you've got a job and your job is to go and tell the whole world about me and be my witness so when Pastor Tim said, Brother Ben was going to receive his commission. It worked right in. Because you've got a commission. Do you know what a commission is? A commission is a really big job. It's something that we have to do. And we have to take this light that I was using to be scary 
and we have to point it, and we have to show people the way that they come to Jesus. And we have to be his light. Can we go out and be Jesus' light and tell people about him and how much he loves us? You're fine. I promise. So let's have a prayer, okay? Father, we give you thanks today for these children and the lives that they lead and the, and the promise that they are. Help us as we go through our lives as adults that we never lose, lose that childlike being, the, the, the way that they understand things and the way that they take things at face value. Help us that we lead and guide and direct them to follow you and to always know that you are alive and that we have no fear. Because you live, we can also live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.